Hello and welcome to our YouTube channel, Celestial Space Facts. In this channel, we focus on giving definite information regarding various topics related to space, astronomy, astrophysics, cosmology, celestial beings, and many more coming up. We really hope you are learning and gaining knowledge from this channel of ours. Today's topic of video is Capricornus constellation. Let's get started. Capricornus is a faint zodiac constellation located in southern sky. Its name means the court in Latin. The constellation represents a sea goat, a mythical creator associated with God in peace in Babylon mythology and later with the Greek deity Pan. The constellation is represented by the symbol this. Like other zodiac constellations, Capricornus was the first catalogued by Greek astronomy Claudius Ptolemy in his Almagus in 2nd century C. In Greek mythology, the constellation is associated with Pan, the god of wise and with the god Amalthea, who sculpted Jesus when he was very young. Capricornus constellation is home to eclipsing binary system Delta Capricorni, the multiple star system Beta Capricorni and Alpha Capricorni, and the white giant Nashera. Notable deep sky objects in the constellation include the global clusters Mesa 30 and Paloma 12 and compact galaxy group SCG87. Facts and location, facts, location, and map. Capricornus is 40th biggest constellation in the sky, occupying an area of 414 square degrees. It lies in the fourth quadrant of southern hemisphere and can be seen at latitudes between plus 60 degrees and minus 90 degrees. The neighboring constellations are Aquarius, Aquila, Microscopian, Pisces, Austrian, and Sagittarius. The best time of the year to see Capricornus is during the month of September. The constellation name Capricornus is pronoun pronounced by this. In English, the constellation is known as Sebo. The genetic form of Capricornus used in the star name is Capricorni, the three-letter abbreviation adopted by International Astronomer Unit, Union IAU in 1922 is CAP. Capricornus belongs to the zodiac family of constellation along with Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aquarius, and Pisces. Capricornus has five stars with known planets and contains one method object, the global cluster M30. The constellation is home to three stars located within 10 parts of the sun. The brightest star in Capricornus is Deneb Algeria, Delta Capricorni, with an apparent magnitude of 2.81. It is only star in the constellation brighter than magnitude 3.00. The constellation contains five named stars. The star name approved by IAU, International Astronomer Union, are LBD, Elshet, Dabi, Dine, and Nakia. There are five meteor showers associated with Capricornus, the Alpha Capricornus, the T Capricornus, the Sigma Capricornus, the Tau Cap Capricornus, and Capricornus in Sagittarius. Where is Capricornus? Capricornus can be found using the bright stars of constellation Pegasus, Aquilia, Sagittarius, Pisces, but since it is very faint, it requires exceptionally good conditions to be seen. It lies in the region of the sky between NF, the brighter star, Pegasus, the lum luminary of Aquaria, one of the bright stars of Teapot in Sagittarius, and Formal Hot, a solitary first magnitude star in Pisces found near the imaginary line 
extended from the C to mark up across the star. The visible stars of the gold constellation form a pattern reminiscent of two horns with the luminous Danub and Nashiria marking one tip and algae. The faint omega Capricorn lies at the bottom of triangle pattern near the border with the microscopium and just not to the imaginary line connecting Aquila and former hut. Deneb is only star in the Capricornus brighter than the magnitude 3.0, which means that the constellation is very difficult to see from the light polluted area. Capricornus myth. Even though Capricornus is one of the faintest constellations in the star, it is associated <laughs> with myths and images that date back to 21st century BCE. The story of Capricornus originated with the Babylons and Sumerians. The Sumerians knew the constellation as the Goat Fish or Tuhar Masha with Babylon star catalog compiled around 1000 BCE called it Mul Surha, also meaning Goat Fish. In the early Bronze Age, Capricornus marked the winter solace and in modern astrology. Capricornus rule still begins on the first day of astronomical winter. The Greeks associated the constellation with the false deity, Pan, who had legs and horns of the goat. Protus, his son, is usually associated with another ambiguous creature, represented by neighboring constellation Sagittarius. P.A.N. was placed in the sky by Jesus in gratitude for his coming to the other gods, rescue, and several occasions. During the gods' war with Titan, Pan helped tear the Titans away by blowing his cow's chest. Later, he warned the gods that Typhon, a monster sent by Gia to fight them, was approaching. He also suggested that gods disguise themselves as animals until the danger passed. In the midst, can included the monster himself by jumping into the river Nile and turning the lower part of his body into that of fish. Jesus eventually struck down Typhon with his thunderbolt. In reference to the myth, Capricornus is still often depicted as a goat with the tail of fish. In another story, Capricornus is identified as Amalthea, the god that sculpts Jesus, when he was an infant, hiding from his son Cronus. Cronus has devoured his other children or future gods and goddesses because of prophecy that said that he would be overthrow by one of them. Major stars in Capricorn. <coughs> Delta Capricorn is the brightest point of the light in Capricorn. You can stop the video and read the theory part because it's very big and I will I will speak only one or two lines more but you can stop the video and read the whole about Delta Capricorn. Delta Capricorn A has a visual companion both significantly fainted. A 15th magnitude companion lies about one hour minute away and 13th magnitude star is separated by more than two hours minutes from the primary. Delta Capricorn shows the spectrum of white giant stars of spectral type A7M. Beta Capricorn. Beta Capricorn is a multiple star located 328 light years away. It is second brightest point of the light in Capricorn. The primary component named Debia is constellation's second brightest individual star with an apparent magnitude of 3.05. The name Debia comes from Arabic al albara meaning butcher. Same as, as I said earlier, you can stop the video and read the rest part. Then his alpha, uh, then his alpha, Square. Alpha square Capricorn is used two star system 
and that is alpha 1 capricorni and alpha 2 capricorni the two are not physically related they appear 0.1 degree apart on the sky and like meser and alcor in ultra ultra illuminator they can be resolved by unaided eye wow so much theory and so much to learn about wow you can go on and keep learning always then comes the new new capricorn as elchet is a double star that appears in the same field of view as alpha capricorn it has an apparent magnitude of 4.76 and lies at the distance of 253 light years the spectral size given is b94 or b9.5 indicating a hot blue star is either still on the main sequence or has evolved into a subgenre. The name El Shut comes from the Arabic meaning the sheep. Then comes the Gamma Capricorn. Nashira is a chemically peculiar and stars with a stellar classification. Then comes the Zeta Capricorni. Okay. Then the Zeta Capricorni is another binary star. So Capricornus. Uh, Capricornus is a big constellation I'm sure so many stars in it so many useful things in it okay you can stop and read the full part the theory part is very nice the binary component uh, I'm sure soon we will be taking the telescope and we'll be able to show you the stars in the sky as well okay so uh, to get started and uh, be in touch always then comes the theta capricorni Theta Capricorni is a white moon sequence star of the spectral size A1b. It has an apparent magnitude of 4.07 and lies 152 light years away. The star has the traditional name dorsum, meaning bat. Theta Capricorni has a mass of 2.24 solar masses and a radius 2.7 times that of the sun, with a surface temperature of 10,000 K. It is 65 times more luminous than our star. Then comes the Omega Capricorn. Omega Capricorn is the orange giant star with the stellar classification K43. Wow! It has an apparent magnitude of 4.11 and a light at the approximate distance of 1000 light years. Omega Capricorn has a mass of 6.8 times. 6.8 times that of Sun and has expanded to. 172.1 solar area. Okay. Then comes the PSI Capricorni is a yellow white mean sequence star of spectral type F5V. It has a visual magnitude of 4.13 and light 47.9 light years away. The star has a mass of 1.37 solar masses and the radius 1.51 times that of the sun. Okay, then comes the deep sky object in Capricornus that is measure 30 NGC 7099. Measure 30 is a globular cluster approximately 27, 140 light years distant and above 93 light years across in size. The cluster is approaching us at the speed of 181.9 kilometers per second. Okay. M30 is relatively dense with the concentration class 5. Okay. Then comes the STD. STD is Hickson Compact Group 87. Is a group of galaxies located about 4,000 milestones. Oh my God. I see 1337. 1337 is an emitted spiral galaxy located about 420 million light years away. And it has an apparent magnitude of 14.5, okay, and the apparent size of 1.2 by 1.1. It was discovered by French astronomer, and then comes the Paloma 12. Paloma 12 is a global cluster located 63,000 6, light years away. It has an apparent magnitude of 11.99, and the stretches across 17.4. Of the apparent sky, the physical radius of 162 light years. Fine, that's very good. And uh, we have 
I hope you got to know about something about Capricornus constellation in this 15 minute video for us. Ours. We have compiled this video on the basis of our knowledge which we get after studying and analyzing various stuff regarding the topic. We really hope you receive knowledge in the end, last but not the least, please support and do like, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel that is Celestial Space Pass. We will be posting more and more in the near future. Love, love. Please be safe and be kind everyone. Thank you, thank you, thank you.